on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to do an easy lattice pie crust. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and with pie season right around the corner, I want to show you how to make the prettiest pie possible. I'm sure you've seen those beautiful lattice topped pies before, and I want to show you how actually very simple it is to make those at home. Now you can use this technique on just about any pie recipe that calls for a crust on top. Today I'm going to be making a very simple apple pie. So as you can see, I've already done my bottom crust, put it in the pie plate. This is a nine and a half inch pie plate and filled it with my filling. I have also rolled out my homemade pie dough, which you should definitely try, it's very easy, into a 12 inch circle, approximately 12 inch circle. Now we're going to be cutting this into 10 one inch strips. I do like to make the dough a little bit bigger than I need because the edges are going to be really short so we can discard those. So I'm just going to begin by trimming the edges. And I do like to use a ruler to make sure they're nice, even strips. It just makes the pie look a little bit more uniform. I'll just make some shallow marks to guide my pastry wheel. Now I'm using a pastry wheel, as you can see here, it gives the strips a nice, pretty edge. It's gonna look beautiful on top of our pie. Now I will link to this exact pastry wheel in the description below, but if you don't have one, you could also do this with a pizza cutter or just with a sharp knife. Now I do have an extra strip here that's intentional just in case something happens to one we have a spare. So now let's get to making that lattice topping. We're going to start by laying five strips horizontally over the pie, spacing these evenly. Now you want these to be spaced as evenly as possible, so you can certainly adjust them as needed. So once you've placed those five strips, we're going to take every other strip and fold it halfway back across itself. Now take one of your longer strips and place that right in the center of the pie. As you can see, I've been trying to use the shorter pieces for the edges of the pie and the longer pieces for the center, just so I can make sure they're long enough. Now those pieces we just folded over themselves, fold them back over that vertical strip. Now we're going to be working with every other strip, the ones that we just left untouched, and we're going to fold those back over the strip we just laid down. And I think you know where this is going. We'll lay another piece right there. Give it a little bit of space away from the first strip we lay down and we'll cover that one back up. Now let's go back to those first strips and we'll fold them over themselves again as much as we can anyway. So the first half of our pie is done. Now we're just going to do the same thing on the other half. Working from the other end, we'll fold back the strips that are under our center vertical strip. We'll place another stripe of pie crust, fold those over it. We'll grab the other ones that we just left untouched, fold them back, place our last piece of pie crust, fold those back over that last strip. Now, if you need to, you can carefully adjust your pie crust at this point. You want these to be nice and evenly spaced. Now grab a sharp knife or some kitchen shears and we're just going to trim off those excess pieces from our strips. Sometimes I like to reform these into a ball, roll them out and make cute little cutouts that I'll put on top of the pie, but we're not going to do that today. So you should have some extra dough hanging over from that first crust that you placed in your pie plate. We are going to carefully fold this over the edge of the pie plate, over the edges of the strips. Now it's going to look a little bit messy at first, but we're not done yet. Now this is optional, but I like to use my finger to form a pretty design with the crust. So I'm just taking one finger and making an indent and then moving my thumb and pointer finger from my other hand over one space using my other hand to make an indent again, and then just repeating all the way along the perimeter of the pie. So you have just woven your first lattice pie topping and I bet it looks 
beautiful. Now to help encourage some browning on the crust, I like to brush the top with just a little bit of egg wash. This is just one egg beaten with a teaspoon of water. Just do this gently. You don't want to mess up that beautiful weaving you did. I like to brush my edges too, but you don't have to. They usually brown pretty well on their own. Because this is sugar spun run, I'm also going to sprinkle the top of my pie crust with a little bit of granulated sugar. You can skip this, but I don't recommend it. Now, how long you bake this pie depends entirely on the recipe that you're following. I do want to note though that keep an eye on it. And if you notice that the top is getting a little bit too brown, tent that with a little bit of aluminum foil. It'll keep it from burning. And that is how you make a beautifully woven lattice pie crust. Once you've mastered this technique, you can start to experiment. Try braiding some of the strips, try making cute little cutouts with cookie cutters. You can really get crazy and creative with this. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to do this super simple technique. And if you try it out, please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.